Alright, so today we're going to be talking about correlation and residual plots. So first let's break down what correlation is. To find the correlation of a graph is to determine if a relationship exists between two variables. So, this can be described in three different types of ways, three different graphs. Goodness, what was that? Ignore that? Anyway, let's say we have a graph that goes like this, and say we have a graph that goes like this. These are all scattered plots, just by the way. And then let's say we have a graph that just all the points are just all over the place. Scatter plots are usually used in, I don't know, science experiments, stuff like that, where you have a lot of data and you try to compare it to each other. So, we call this first graph positive correlation. We call it positive correlation because if we were to draw a line of best fit through the, through the data, which is basically just the median of all the data, so you want to have the same number of points above and below the line, right out line of best fit and um, our line of best fit has a positive slope and all the points are moving up in a positive way so we call that positive correlation now we have this graph where all the points seem to be going downwards in a negative way a negative slope negative correlation okay and then we have this graph. This graph is just a mess. We, we don't know which way it's going. We can't say that it's going positive. It do, we can't say it has a positive slope or a negative slope because we, we have no idea. This is no goodness. No correlation. Okay? And typically we have this thing called a correlation um, coefficient and it basically is the strength of the relationship, the strength of the correlation. So, it's on a number line. So at one end we have negative one, and at one end we have, the other end we have one, and in the middle we have zero. Now you could probably guess that zero means no correlation, and then our positive one means a strong or a perfect positive correlation. And then our negative one is a strong or perfect negative correlation. And basically, all of the correlation has to be in between negative one and one, our cor correlation uh, coefficients. So to have um, a correlation coefficient of one for a graph, you would literally just have points that are all in one straight line, that are all going positively. That's your perfect positive correlation. Then as you get to, let's say, something like 0 0.8 or something like that, your points are a little bit less, a little bit less uh, uh, correlated, and then say you get to something like 0 0.2, your points are just, goodness less and less uh, correlated until you get to zero which is like I said before just all over the place points no correlation you don't know which way which if it's going positive or negative you just don't know the same goes for your negative so let's say you have negative 0 0.2 is doing the same thing just going negatively then we have negative 0 0.8 and the points are closer together Let's say something like that and then negative 1 which is basically just a perfect negative line All right, and that's what correlation is now let's talk about residual plots shall we erase everything Alright, so, residual plots are basically, oh, I don't know how to describe this, let's see, my pen is running out of ink. If you have a bunch of points all over the place, and you have this line, your residual is the observed 
minus the predicted. So observed, observed is your data, and then predicted is your um, your equation, basically the line of best fit. So, goodness, let me see. Let me get a different marker. Oops. All right, got a different one. So we have these points here, and let's take a point above the line first. So your observed is the point, and then your predicted is the line of best fit. So you basically just draw a line to the uh, line of best fit from wherever the point was, and that's your residual. So if we have a residual plot, we would have our point this many units off the x-axis. So it'd be up here somewhere. Same goes for the negatives. So if we draw a line from here to this one point, our residual would be here. And you just keep doing that. And the purpose of residual plots, I think, is you basically just see how many points are above the line and by how how and how far away from the line they are and see how many points are below the line and see how far away they are. Any time you have a point below the line, it's always going to be uh, below the x-axis. And any time you have a point above the um, point, the line of best fit, it's going to be above the x-axis. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!